Hello, bonjour, and good day, and welcome to another House of Freeman production. In today's video, I am going to be testing out some products that I picked up from Aldi and Tier Tier. I've got powder puffs, I've got lip kits, I've got concealers, and the foundation that everyone's talking about. I'm also going to try my Nomad palette that I have had in my collection for ages. I mean, here's the finished look. So if you want to see how I did this, how I managed to achieve this full glam look, then keep on watching. Now that I've covered my brows, we can start going in with the complexion products. So the first thing I'm going to go in with is the Tear Tear Foundation. I'm sure you've seen this everywhere. I got mine in 24W Soft Beige. You are going to have to bear with me because I've got nails on, but I didn't actually open the package before I started, which was a very good idea, Dana, very good idea. Right, opening it up, we've got the little compact here, cute packaging, I love this actually, oh, the little sponge, and then oh, oh, we open the product, brand new, oh, that's very clever, oh, oh, oh. now, perfect. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> that might be a little bit dark. Let's do it with the sponge that they provide. Let me get me my fingers in there. Let's give it a little squish. That's so weird. I've never used a cushion foundation before. Before we do that, let's grab a bigger brush and get rid of the excess powder because we do not need that much powder on our brows now do we <gasps> look at that oh my goodness now this <laughs> this is a tad dark for me but i think we can make it work because i do have a very light concealer but like <gasps> Look at that coverage. Oh my goodness. And it smells quite clean. That's so weird. I don't want to over saturate the um, sponge. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord, that color match. What color match I hear you say? Oh my goodness. When they said it was full coverage and a little goes a long way they were not lying i mean i'm oh my goodness let's just go straight over this brow i mean look at that that is insane i might have to use this foundation on the regular because look at that Obviously, we might have to <laughs> repurchase a lighter colour because this is definitely not me, but wow. I believe I got this from Yes Style because there wasn't anything on Amazon at the time. Let's make sure we drag this down the neck. That's so crazy. Let's give it another another squish on the cushion. And oh my lord, I'm gonna have to get something for my hair. Give me two seconds. Damn. That is something else. And a little bit of this goes an awful long way. I have never experienced a cushion foundation before but this is incredible 
the coverage, the the way this deposits on the skin. It's insane. So if you're thinking of picking this up because you don't like the way liquid foundation works for you, I would highly suggest it. It's well worth the hype in my opinion. Oh my goodness. Let's definitely go down the neck a little bit because of this color. I have never felt so eggy in my life. <laughs> that line is horrendous. I'm gonna have to, right, instead of this puff now, I'm gonna have to use a little, I grab a flat topped brush like this. Has that got anything on it? No. Let's, <laughs> oh my goodness. I am so pleasantly surprised. I'm just dabbing it into the cushion itself and I'm just gonna drag this down the neck to see if we can get a little bit more of a blend because this is insane let's go into the ears look at how eggy I look well <laughs> that line is going to be horrendous right well Next, let's go in with some Aldi makeup. This is the Lacura Brightening Concealer. I have this in the shade one. Very imaginative shade names for them. Oh, uh, why is it? <laughs> this packaging. Hun. Right, let's give it a little shake this is apparently formulated with vitamin c and caffeine oh okay let's have a look this is definitely going to be brightening for under my eyes considering the color that we are already let's grab and apply it like that and then we'll grab my highlight brush and just pounce it under the eye. How is that looking? Hmm. It's all right. I don't know how it's playing with the foundation under it though. What does the texture look like? It looks all right. Let's go up the nose a little bit, shall we? Damn, that is... That is brightening compared to what's on the other side. Let's go on the other side. I don't mind that Dofa applicator, it's alright. Ooh, when you do this up, you get a very satisfying click to it so that you know it's closed i love that silly little things like that in makeup that make it all the better blend this out let's drag on down here how are we looking we are looking bright as was advertised but i mean the tier tier foundation was a little bit darker than expected. Let's grab a little bit here, a little bit on the nose. And we'll see if I can do one down there. Now, I don't know if it's taking off the product underneath or if it's playing nicely. I haven't decided yet. It'll be all right. I can reinforce it with powders, but that looks all right, you know. Let's make sure we're 
getting that lovely creaseless blend. That's all right. I like that concealer actually. It smells all right as well. Everything that we've tried so far has a, an all right smell. Let's grab, oh, cream contour, but I don't have anything new for that. So we're going with the, the good old trusty Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick. We're going to have a very bronzed face, darling, a very bronzed face. Sun-kissed, if you will. <laughs> mm. That blends into the tear tear so nicely. Look at that. <gasps> oh, these are playing nicely. Do you know, if I wasn't so white on my chest, I think I could kind of get away with this. And I say kind of very loosely. I think we're going to brighten up. Does that look nice? I think it does, you know. We're going to brighten up the face with a fair amount of powder anyway, so. What do you think? Yeah. I like this. I really like this. Let's go in with powders now. Let's set the face. We're going to use the, the normal MUA loose setting powder and for this i'm going to open the product up if i can with my neurals on oh gosh i know i've got to keep the sifter in the top oh, my goodness got to keep the sifter in the top just to keep everything together thank goodness for this honestly otherwise i wouldn't be able to get it off but like these things are so annoying to take in and out. But I mean, I I am so accident prone when it comes to stuff anyway that I don't want to risk getting the powder everywhere. Let's take the Lacura makeup powder puffs. This is what they look like. They're just you know the normal the normal powder sponges that you get. Little triangles with Lakira on the back. And we're gonna take some of the setting powder. And we're going to go straight under the eye. <gasps> Do you know I love that? There's so many things that I've been waiting to try. For example, that tear tear foundation and these powder puffs specifically. But I wanted to make sure I was giving my first impressions on camera. And I mean, the way that that puts it on the skin. Am I using a lot of powder? Absolutely I am. But is that giving such a gorgeous finish? In my opinion, yeah it is. Look at that. And not much is transferring onto the back, to be completely honest. I am coating it with powder though. So we are going to set this face properly. Hopefully with, <laughs> with the setting powder, it will calm down a bit of the color inaccuracy. Fabulous. These are going in my makeup bag straight away. We are taking these on there the road when we go places let's grab the the big fluffy powder brush and just swipe it over getting rid of some of the exit but gently of course we don't want to disturb anything underneath how are we looking i think that's a really successful base you know really successful 
Mm. Yes, lovely. Let's put that setting powder away now. But compared to what I normally use, so this is what I normally use. I use a stargazer puff. You can tell she has been through the ringer. But with the other ones that I've got now, they seem a lot uh, more plush, a lot more squishy. And you don't even know how good having one of these on the back of them is until you have one. Like, how has it taken me this long to get something as simple as that? Let's just make sure she's everywhere she needs to be. I am a big fan of this foundation. Honestly. Damn. Absolute home run on that foundation. The concealer is looking nice. It's looking all right. If we look in my mirror. Everything's looking very smooth to me. Very smooth, which is very impressive for a first time. Let's grab. We'll grab the same Lacura sponge that we had. The puff. Don't call me that. And we'll go into my white shade here that I always use for highlighting. Just doing circles in the product. It's picked up a fair amount. And let's use that little triangle to deposit it under the eye and do some powder highlighting in the center of the face. Doesn't that look lush? <gasps> oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm losing my mind over a tiny little puffy triangle. It's insanity, gals. You know the woman who has the, the sponge and she starts doing this squiggle painting and she, she absolutely loses her mind. That's who I feel like right now. Where she's like, oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh. That's me. That is me right now experiencing this puff for the first time. <sighs> if I could turn back time. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Contour. Same old, same old. Shade and light. Big. Fluffy powder brush. And straight in. I'm just so shocked. <laughs> let's, put some, let's put some bronzer on that neck, darling, on that neck. Darling, sweetie, honeybee. Look at that mug. Look at that mug. Large, fluffy powder brush. Just give it a little zhuzh over the top. I can't deal with this. I don't think I've ever looked this good before with just a base. Honestly, what is going on? We're going to go into some blushes, just the normal, the Primark and Peony Petal by MAC. Just doing a mixture of the both. And I'm doing that with a Real Techniques blush brush, this thing. Oh, that might be a, a lot of color. Let's tap some off on the towel. Just give it a little rosy moment over here. Tap her on. How are we looking, girl? Just marry the colors. 
Who is she? Where did you find her? Where did you find her? How is this eggy? I might have to pack up. I'm, I might just have to move on because this is insane. Look at that face. Don't sleep on this. Do not sleep on this. Get you some of that and get you any any make of like powder triangle thing because this this and because the skin is completely powdered it feels so soft, so smooth. I can't. I can't right now. We're going to go into a palette that I've had in my collection for a while, but I've never had a chance to use it before. This is the Nomad Haunted Europe palette. This is just so gorgeous. Look at those shades. Honey. Ooh. First of all, let's go in with this color here, Drag's Home Castle. How fitting. And I'm gonna grab my brow brush, wherever she's gone. And I will draw on some brows and I will come right back. There we go, that is the brows on. I used the little Lecura triangle puff just to highlight the center of the forehead and do some highlights under the brows with the powder. And I think those came out really nicely. Very nicely. I did use the concealer under the brows as well and that came out wonderfully. I think this face is doing really well today. We're going to go in with this green here. This one is called Grendel. I'm gonna grab a decent amount on the brush, as you can see. Let me grab my other mirror. My little piggy. Let's tap off a little bit. And let's just chuck it here. <gasps> oh, that's such a nice green. Oh, and I'm wearing a green top. So this works really well, actually. Let's zhuzh it around. I've never tried Nomad Shadows before, but so far I am loving them. Look at that color. Look at that payoff and no fallout. From this intense of a pigment to have no fallout, dreams, absolute dreams. Let's go into the other side. Such a lovely green. It's like a proper serpent green to me. When I think of a snake, something along those lines, this is exactly the color that comes to mind for me. I really wanna just drag it out. 
drag it up and past the tail of my brow. I do that on some of my looks and I think today we're gonna really just pull her up. Just gently, just so that she looks like she's melting into the skin and almost give that like reptilian feel. Give her a little tap out as well. Oh, and there are some shimmers in here that are going to blow my mind. I can see it already happening. Let's make sure the inner corner has some good pigment in there as well. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Right, let's go into a shimmery, let's go into this one, into Highgate Cemetery, this one here, and let's grab a flat paddle brush. Ooh, minty, minty fresh. Isn't that such a stunning colour? Oh, it just blends so seamlessly and it just looks wet to me in the mirror. Wet! And normally with shimmers like this, I would just apply them with my finger because they're just hard to work with some of them and you get the best payoff when you chuck it on with a finger but this is just like an absolute dream with a brush unfortunately it is getting rid of the embossing on the shadow in the palette because it is such a buttery creamy shade but for the sake of what it's doing on my eyes right now <sighs> worth it absolutely worth it look at those eyes look at those eyes i'm i'm losing my mind losing my mind what should we go in with on the bottom let's grab Let's first grab a smudging brush, one like this. Get rid of the excess that's on there. Give her a little spritz. Clean her up a bit. Because I don't know what she said on her. The last colors I used in that Rocky Horror palette, if you haven't seen that video already, I will link it up in the cards. The last colors I used could have been quite dark and that would destroy the look. Let's go in with this shade here, Black Forest. That looks so, so lovely. Right on the outside edge. Look at the... Oh my goodness. The blend already, and I've only just put that on the eye. I think... Without testing any others, Nomad Shadows might be some of my new favorites. These are insane. They're giving such gorgeous payoff with the color. Like next to no fallout. And anything we do get just can be swiped away very quickly. And the colors are just so gorge. I love this. I love this so much. I love this. Did I tell you I love this? Oh my goodness.
damn, I love this. I love this so much. Let's see. I think I'm just going to carry this green down into the lower part of the eye because I love this green too much. This like minty look. Let's go down here and then just a touch under the eye. Oh, hun. Oh, hun. Look at that. So stunning. How do we feel about this eye look? I love it. There is a little bit of bleed here from the shadow, but I mean, I don't mind that, honestly. I'm going to do some liner and some lashes and I will come right back. Don't mind me, I'm just purchasing the Cosmic Brushes Undergrowth Palette because that looks so good. I have got a lot of plans to do Cosmic Brushes palette reviews because I have nearly all of them but I've not actually used them yet so you can look forward to that <sighs> meow would you like to see one of the new cats come here baby here he is this is Oz look at the cute baby He's a little ginger boy. He is just chilling on my lap now. <laughs> so I guess he'll be here while I'm doing my lashes. I have forgotten to use the mascara and lash primer that I got as well from La Cura. Let's see what's going on. <gasps> the colour of this that is gorgeous lash primer and mascara let's let's go in with the mascara it is a double ended moment oh that was not the way i was expecting it to open here is the brush that looks all right doesn't it let's do a little touch on the bottom Lashes. It's not really doing anything for me if I'm completely honest. It was a little bit dry. Even though it's brand new and the colour of the compact is fab. My lashes are just not. not picking them up as usual oh it's it's okay it's not the best that I've ever used but we're gonna have to use this again in the future with the primer to see if it's genuinely good or not let's put her away for the time being in my opinion, I've not looked this good since the Midnight palette from Beauty Bay. That was one of my favourite looks of all time. And I mean this. Oh, it's stunning. It's stunning, it's stunning, it's stunning. Let's grab a little bit of highlighter. It's just the normal, the usual, you know, the sleek highlighters that I've got in my palette up here. Just swish them all around honestly, on a large fluffy eyeshadow brush, go on the cheek, just, just, honestly today, I don't know what's going on, but I am very blessed, look at that, 
Look at that. Oh, so blessed. Han. Han. I don't know what I did to deserve this. I think it's because I've been so ill recently. I am still staving off a chest infection. <sighs> so I deserve to have decent makeup. <laughs> okay, I've done some finishing on the face, made the contour a little deeper. And the last thing I've got for you is this Lacura lip kit. We all know who they are taking inspiration from. As you can see, it comes with a liquid lip and a lip liner. Now, this is in the shade Nearly Nude. So let's grab the lip liner. Oh, that didn't make the good sound. There we go. Let me line my lips. I will apply the liquid lipstick, put on an outfit, some hair, some jewelry, and I will come back to you with the final look and my final thoughts. Oh, darling, sweetie, baby. Oh, I look so good. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do. Don't I just look stunning? Okay, I'm back. I've put on bracelets, I've put on a necklace, I've put on this hair, this gorgeous look. It's like a green shoulder pad moment. I obviously put on a little, a little breast under there because it, it gives it such shape. And I, <laughs> I keep staring at myself. Mm, I think I look so good today, so good. I tooting my own horn but like look at this look at the material mm. so so good so many products that i loved in this video firstly let's start with the tier tier foundation this might not be my shade is not my shade but the foundation itself covered the brow so easily and the coverage is just insane. Um, pick this one up and I would recommend it for drag. Like it's compact. It's got a really nice little packaging that you can just chuck in a bag. There's no fluid. So there's no, like you won't smash it in your bag and it won't go everywhere. So there's always that plus. I cannot recommend it highly enough. Do make sure you get the right shade though, because the shades are a little, 
a little off for me as you can see i'm very pale on my chest moving on the Lacura concealer that we got in the shade one really nice really nice blended in like a treat relatively cheap as well i don't know how much it is and i don't even know if they've still got it in aldi but these star buys when they come round, pick them up because their makeup is lovely their little triangle powder puffs hun i have never ever looked this blended ever and it's so much easier than a beauty blender because you don't have to like wet it and squish it up and and you know all of that all of that jazz what else have we got we had the lip kit this lip kit right here in nearly nude now let's look at these lips i need to see if i can go to an audi again and pick up 10 of these because i love this shade I love it so much. The lip liner does go down quite quickly, as you can see from my one. Well, can you see, or is it going to not focus? <laughs> as you can see, it's it's gone down quite a bit. But the lipstick itself, this applied like a dream, and it smells... <sighs> it just smells so sweet, so lovely. I, I cannot recommend this highly enough it's so good and like no no transfer matte dries down like a dream get them while you can honestly get them while you can this uh mascara and lash primer we are gonna have to test out again because i did not do that before i put my lashes on and i was not about to take these lashes off because they went on super quick super easy and that never happens to me so i was not going to tempt fate and finally the nomad haunted europe palette i mean these shades firstly just gorgeous it is such a wonderful palette honestly the shades blended out like a dream oh the green stunning the um shimmer in the palette stunning the blue may have been a little bit patchy but i did keep reapplying it to just kind of boost the color up but overall this is a win it is a win nearly everything here i liked apart from the mascara but we're gonna give it another shot wow there are some things that are going straight in my staple makeup bag and i can't wait to use them again that's it we're done we're done thank you so much for joining me today if you liked the video please give it a little thumbs up down below leave me a comment what was your favorite product or what were you most surprised about in this video today honestly for me it's a toss up between the lip kit and the powder puffs because I didn't realize they would be that good. And I'm definitely going to have to check out some more Nomad products. I believe they've only just bought this one back in stock. So if you can get it, find a discount code somewhere, use that, pick it up. It's such a good palette. Yep. Apart from that, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I don't know when uploads are going to happen, so ring the bell. Ring that bell so that you get notified when I upload a video next. I'm really peppy now because I look so good. I've not, I've honestly not looked this good for a long time. I feel so good. Honestly. I surprise myself sometimes <laughs> the wig application could have gone a little bit smoother but i've not i've not applied lace for a while so let's not talk about that let's just focus on the mug shall we let's focus on the mug anyway we're done thank you so much for joining me take care and stay tuned
Well, <laughs> let's first go into this one here, this brown. This one is called Dragzome Castle. How fitting. How fitting indeed. Give me a fluffy brush. Where the bloody hell is my fluffy brush, girl? Good for you, girl. There we go. Tap, 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 tap. No, what are we doing? What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Let's grab a fluffy brush. I need a proper fluffy brush, Dana. That's not fluffy. That's too fluffy. Where have all my... I'm losing my brushes. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Christ. Let's line my lips. I will apply the liquid lipstick. Excuse me. 